This is the first run of a truss press I just made for small rafters and doors. It's a fairly big table, but that's beside the point. Here is the mother of it all. Big ol' I-beams. Had got those for nothing, of course. A 20-ton bottle jack that's run off of air. Get that on eBay or Harbor Freight for fairly cheap. Uh, one thing I did notice, you about have to go 20 ton. I'm not sure if a smaller one would do the trick like this one does. And basically, these are short pieces I use. I put these boards underneath to keep it level so the joints are together right. Just push your, uh, put your uh, truss plates in there and start pressing. So, uh, I put a nice, see if we can see it here, a 3 8 inch piece of steel on the bottom just to make sure I don't break something because 20 ton is a lot of force. And that is what they recommend for these truss plates for pressing is about 20 ton. There's a PSI, I don't remember what it was anymore. I sit, sat down and figured it out. I welded the bottle jack to the top of that beam so it goes up. If you do want to build one, make sure you get one with springs in it so it goes up. So, then I got this uh, handle on here. You just flip it over and it'll release. So, let's take this thing for a run once and see what happens. It'll pop that wood if you uh, don't stop. This thing will really put some force on it. But, there it is. That thing is pressed in nice and even. The other side, same way. I didn't get my joints together quite right, but eh, I'm not picky on this one. And that thing is tight. So, if you want to build one, I'm glad to give you the info you need. I don't know if you need to have that big a beam or not. The, the shop I went to do it, he wasn't quite sure about it, but it worked very good.